now though, Fernando Alonso, who hasn't been on the front row since, oh look, there's Nico Rosberg spinning, almost by the chequered flag. It's Lewis Hamilton on pole once more in 2014. Fourth qualifying, third pole for Hamilton. He made it look easy today. What sort of satisfaction do you get from that? Uh, definitely the most when it's um, when it's raining and it's it is so slippery out there. The conditioning is trying to find the grip, um, obviously not making mistakes on your lap and really putting it together, especially when you have these guys pushing you. So it was it was a tough uh, session. I really enjoyed it. Um, the car was feeling great. I think we definitely could be. Um, we always have stuff we can improve on, but uh, the team have done a great job for this weekend. So put a good position for the race. I hope that we can follow through tomorrow. So feedback on the start, please. It's lights out and away we go. He's now making a move, Sebastian Vettel. He touches with Fernando Alonso. And the Williams and Valtteri Bottas getting shunted out of the way as they go round turn one. Check my bubbling and everything. That's possibly rubber in the front wing, Nico. So it's possibly rubber in the front wing. Hamilton already quite a long way clear. There goes Nico Rosberg making a move on Nico Hulkenberg into turn 14. Grosjean on Kimi Raikkonen as well, going wheel to wheel. Hulkenberg goes through on the inside past Nico Rosberg. But now Rosberg has got the inside line round the final corner and he makes the place. Nico Rosberg. Getting past Felipe Massa. Okay, Nico, so we have no telemetry. We're not expecting to have any in the race. So uh, we will we'll get you to start looking at the fuel later. These tyres are looking quite good. It's down the straight as now Rosberg comes in at the box and stop, I believe they call it in Germany. He's gone past his marks as well, which just slows it down a little bit. Yeah, well, he, he's lost a lot of undercut, hasn't he? Oh, he has. Now he loses track position as well. When you cross the start-finish line, can you read the number on the lower left of the dash? It's fuel remaining. 71.9, 71.9. So you're, you have more fuel at this point than a useful target, so fuel is good. That's the cue they need to bring that car in. Yeah, he's coming in. The front tire still feel really good, as well as the rear. Speed differential between the Red Bull and the Mercedes. He's gaining, he's gaining. He's gone over onto the marbles. He's going to try and get Vettel on the inside of the head, but he looks up and in looking up, forces Sebastian Vettel a little deeper than the world champion would have wanted. Now the drag towards the final corner and Rosberg, does he stay in front? Yes, he does. Yeah, this, this might Very not neat. be too hard for Nico Rosberg. There's the DRS line. He's almost alongside Alonso, even before he gets that advantage. So not only is he up in the second place, but he can start to pull away even before he has to put the brakes on at the end of the hairpin. Where's the gap to Lewis? To Lewis is 15 seconds. Going to come home now to take the chequered flag and win for the third time in China and win for the third time in a row as well. It's Lewis Hamilton that wins the Chinese Grand Prix. It's in there, Lewis. So the drive there, absolutely epic. Really amazing job, guys, this weekend. Really happy with all of the input and uh, all a great race. Thanks so much. And we look back now to see Nico Rosberg, who after his troubles in the early part of the race, now crosses the line. Excellent drive, Nico. Excellent drive. P2, really, really good drive. Well done. No telemetry and just did it yourself. to Nico Rosberg now. Last year's pole sitter, of course, here in Barcelona. How good is this lap? It's a 125.4. So he has stretched the advantage a little bit at the uh, top of the field. But can Hamilton wrestle it back again? It's another pole position for Lewis Hamilton with a 125.2. That's four out of five poles in 2014.
underway here in Spain. It's lights out and away we go and look behind Roman Grosjean, behind Danny Ricciardo gets a good getaway. Bottas covers them both. Hamilton zooms up into the lead. Rosberg's now got Bottas for company. There's a Ferrari of Fernando Alonso coming out on the inside. Massive lock up there from Roman Grosjean. Kimi Raikkonen squeezes past Fernando Alonso and Felipe Massa's made up a couple of places as well as Hamilton leads them up the hill ahead of Nico Rosberg and Daniel Ricciardo. Okay, Lewis, Nico using third gear, turn 10. Think about that. So you were half a tenth slower last lap, gap at 1.8. Race leader pits as well. Uh, Lewis Hamilton was told, not long now, Lewis. And out he goes. And Rothberg's going to come in at the end of this lap. What tyres are going on, Martin? Hard compound tyres, so they're going counter to what Lewis Hamilton did. Push hard, Nico, your position is safe. You're just looking to close the gap to Lewis to two seconds at the end of this stint. Please give me your hand. I don't, I've got too much over here. My rear end's everywhere. Okay, Lewis, zero to Nico, last lap gap at 3.8. Where have you been for the last couple of laps, man? Uh, just been letting you get through the traffic. There's Nico Rosberg locking up in a turn five. Of Hamilton had only stopped once before, but now he comes in for his pit stop. Nico Rosberg takes over the lead of uh, this Spanish Grand Prix. Hamilton switches to the hard compound tyre. Oh, my last time for the two slow. No pace was good at the end of that stint. Then why did you bring me in? We're keeping you on the optimum strategy, Lewis. Optimum strategy. So we're currently four seconds safe to Nico. Four seconds. He said I need five and a half. So Nico boxing this lap. We are. 4.8 seconds safe. Three seconds, the pit stop for Nico Rosberg. So comfortably, time in Rosberg's favour. Now this, this is a gap that at times has been over four seconds. And as they cross the line now, the gap is under a second. Rosberg is closing. He's not closed enough to have a go into the first corner. But he's still got just that little bit of time to get it done once more. And the gap has closed down dramatically here. And Rosberg fighting for the win. Hamilton fighting to protect a race lead. He's won the last three Grand Prix in a row, has Lewis Hamilton. He's been behind his teammate in the championship up to this moment in time. It's the Spanish Grand Prix and the championship lead for Lewis Hamilton. Christopher Lewis, close to comfort at the end, but you did it, man. You did it. Good effort, Nico. Good effort. Well done, mate. Nico was quicker. I struggled a lot with, with, the, with the balance and um, I really had to rely on my engineers a lot more to really to give me the, the gaps and try to find where I could find time. And also with all my settings, you know, I was moving them up and down, up and down, really trying to find extra time. But um, Nico was just generally quicker this weekend, but fortunately I was able to keep him behind. How many laps do you think you needed to pass him? Um, I think one more, to be honest. One more, I could have given it a good go. Like, I, I wasn't close enough to give it a go there, but next lap I would have, but unfortunately that was it. So a bit gutted. Um, but still, you know, second place, uh, still close in the championship and uh, many more races to go anyways. We now watch Nico Rosberg start what will be his final lap of this qualifying session. His teammate Lewis Hamilton just coming round to back now. So if Rosberg does uh, extend his advantage. Picks up the throttle early and hard, wanders around that big bump. Oh, that's too deep, that's too deep. And that's Rosberg's qualifying over. What of Lewis Hamilton then? Let's off. pick him up now. Back, backed off through the yellow. Yellow, yellow, turn five. Yeah, very good, very good. So it's Rosberg who makes the mistake, and it's a mistake means his teammate can't snatch pole away from him. He is not going to be very amused at all. He's going to celebrate pole anyway, and I wonder if this is the mind games we're seeing a bit. Hamilton is not a happy man. That is for sure. Nico Rosberg's on pole for the second year running. Nico, congratulations. Pole for the second year in a row, as we said, but perhaps not exactly the way you'd want to achieve it, I guess, with that mistake at the end. No, definitely not, no. Um, I thought it was over uh, once that happened. Um, 
and because I thought you know the track would ramp up and somebody else could could beat the time. But uh, um, no, of course, you know in the end, I'm <laughs> I'm really really happy though that it worked out. Uh, to be on pole, fantastic, you know, uh, at home and couldn't be better. Well done. Coming to you, Lewis. Obviously, Nico's mistake, ironically, and the subsequent yellow flags meant that you couldn't improve on your lap. Your feelings? Yeah, it is ironic. Um, but uh, no, it's OK. I was up a couple of tenths, so it's OK. Nico, your thoughts on what happened with Lewis and, and where your mistake left him? It's obviously your, your close friends. You're fighting for race wins. You're fighting for pole, for world championships. But there's no question that you disadvantaged him today. No, definitely, yeah. I'm, I'm, of course, I'm sorry for, for what happened to, uh, to Lewis. I didn't know where, where exactly he was. Um, but once I was reversing, I did see he was coming up. So, um, of course, yeah, that's not, uh, not great. But that's the way it is. And Lewis, your response to that, and also, obviously, when you're last on the track, there's always that risk, isn't there? I suppose you're vulnerable to something like this happening. I never answer to it. <laughs> okay.